A well, South Carolina family is carrying out the final wishes of their dad, a seventh generation farmer. As RFD TV's Tammy Arinder tells us, the Orangeburg County community will be impacted in a very special way. The crops are out of the field on the Backman farm in Norway, South Carolina. It's the first year that C.W. Backman wasn't at the helm harvesting. He passed away in October of 2018. He was always ahead of the curve. When people were planting four rows, he was planting six rows. When they were planting six, he was planting narrow rows. He was no-till. We were probably one of the first families to have pivot irrigation in this community. I mean, he was always innovative. And it showed um, in his performance and it showed in his accolades, you know, the awards that he received every year as a high producing corn farmer. Stoney Backman, CW's son, grew up on this farm, although he didn't follow in his father's footsteps. He's an entomologist. He says he learned a lot from his dad. You know, he did teach me a lot about hard work, perseverance. Um, how to do what you say you're going to do, to make, you know, keep your promises, to pay your bills ahead of time. Um, you know, those values are values that we can take in any part of our life, but uh, I learned them here. C.W. was not only a farmer, he was a collector. He collected antique tractors, cars, and implements. He had a voracious appetite for vintage vehicles. There are some truly rare pieces, like this John Deere bulldozer. But it's not just John Deere. Nearly every make and model is represented, and the Model A cars in mint condition. I think the only common denominator in everything that he has is that it rolled over earth. You know, that's that's it. If it if it pulled an implement through the soil, he wanted to have it. There are some 60 tractors, cars, and pieces of equipment that will be auctioned off on January 16th. The proceeds will go to local charities in Orangeburg County. That was CW's final wish. And Tarzi Backman says she's honored to make his final wish come true. Well, we felt like we were blessed by God, and we want to give back a portion of what God had given to us. The walls of the Backman home are covered with harvest awards for Backman soybean and corn crops over the years. In the fall of 2018, Stoney and his son learned to drive the combine to get the soybeans and corn out of the field. Now, CW also planted his first cotton crop in 2018. And in his final days in the hospital, he got to see the first cotton bowl he planted. So we went out in the field and we pulled some cotton from the um, bowls and we took it to the hospital and the last day of my dad's life we we put it in his hands and let him hold that cotton you know the last day so he knew that um, you know he had succeeded as a cotton farmer I'll put January 16th on your calendar if you're interested in some of the antique equipment and cars that will be auctioned off. And of course, you don't have to be in Norway, South Carolina for the sale. You can log on to rebelauction.net to bid online.